Hey there, this is Jacob from RoboFlow, here today to introduce the object count histogram. In this video, we're going to cover two things. The first thing is, what is the object count histogram? And the second thing is, how do you use the object count histogram on your own data set? So now today, for a little bit of a tour into the object count histogram, we're going to look at the object count histogram on an example data set. So before we dive into the histogram, let's take a look at the data set we're looking at. So here we have a data set of blood cells um, and white blood cells and also platelets. And this data set is public on RoboFlow. It's called uh, BCCD. Um, and here you can see an example image um, where you have basically red blood cells here, white blood cells here, and platelets. Um, and as we page through these images, we can kind of get a feel for how the images might look. Like often you can see there's only a single white blood cell here and there's a lot of red blood cells and occasionally there's some platelets also in the image and they occur in um, a few numbers. So uh, having an idea of these kind of counts of objects uh, is useful. And sometimes when you're just paging through the individual images, you might get kind of lost in the nuances um, and you might not uh, necessarily have the ability to look at it in a high aggregate view. So this problem is the primary motivation for the introduction of the object count histogram. So now diving in, um, if you want to use the object count histogram on your own data set, you can access it via the data set health check here in RoboFlow. So uh, on the data set health check, after you've uploaded uh, your object detection data set, you would go here to the data set health check. And at the bottom here is where the histogram of object counts uh, will be provided. And if you have an old data set, you may need to regenerate your health check here to take a look at it. But um, once it's populated, you can go ahead and dive in and do your analysis. So that's what we'll do here. Um, so taking a look at this histogram of object counts, we can see here that uh, for our images, on the y-axis you have the number of images, on the x-axis you have bins which express uh, the number of objects that are in uh, that given image. So for all uh, objects basically here, we have um, essentially 100 images that have 11 to 14 objects or so. so as you can see, we're, it was pretty predictable the, the frames that we were looking at of uh, cells in the bloodstream where there'd be, you know, about uh, anywhere from 10 to 20 uh, different objects of different cells in the images. And the histogram kind of reflects this fact. Um, and then you can also break this down by class. So you can go ahead and click up there to see uh, for this given class, uh, what is the count of objects in the histogram. So uh, for red blood cell here, we can see that that's kind of where the bulk of most cells are uh, in our data set, our red blood cell. And uh, for white blood cell, we can see that actually only a single white blood cell occurs in each image. And for platelets, it's uh, sometimes one, but it can be a little bit more than one, but it never goes over five. So that gives us kind of a sense of the data in our data set. And then it's also a very helpful thing to use while you're going through and labeling and tagging your images in RoboFlow, because uh, you're going to want to be able to check your work afterwards. And if you have some intuition about what you would expect the data set to show here on the histogram, you can check your labeling job or you could check your labelers um, after they've done uh, their job to make sure that uh, the data is of high fidelity and high quality. So that was all for our introduction to the data set um, object histogram today. And we hope you enjoyed this video. This is available on the RoboFlow Pro plan. So if you're at all interested, uh, go ahead and check it out. Uh, drop, drop us a line if you want access to it. And as always, happy training and see you in the next video.